We're working in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 6. We're going to do the activity inserting a table. All right, so the first step is to create a new blank document. So you can either go to File and New or click into the Word box and press and hold Control and tap the letter N to create a new document. We're going to insert a table, so I'm going to go to the Insert tab, find the Tables group and the Table drop-down, and I'm going to click on that. What you're going to see is you have this grid of different cells, and when I hover over them, you're going to notice up here where right now it says Insert Table. As I hover over the different cells, it's going to show me different numbers, so it's going to uh, identify how many row or how many columns I have. That will be the first number. And then how many rows I have. That's going to be the second number. So I want to create a table that is four columns and five rows. So I'm going to go over four. I'm going to go down five. And then I'm going to click on it. Now, if you are not, if your version of Word doesn't show all of these cells, just make the biggest one that you can. And you can add an additional cell by clicking, or I'm sorry, additional row by clicking in the bottom right cell and hitting the tab key. All right, I have a four by five table. Now a table is an object, so you're going to see that some hidden tabs show up up here on the right hand side of your ribbon. Right, and I have, I have two of them. One is table design and one is layout. And they give me some different options for how to format my table. So in the first row, I'm going to actually make these column headings. Um, so in the very first cell, and anytime you're working with a table, the box that's created where the column and the row connect, that's called a cell. And in each cell, I tell my students, it's like, um, think of it like a jail cell, right? It keeps all of the information contained within that cell. So you can actually um, format each different cell individually if you wanted, or you can do some formatting to the table as a whole. All right, so I'm gonna click on this very first cell, and I'm gonna type first name. So I'm on step four over here. Now to move from cell to cell, there's a few things I could do. I could just click in it, but I actually want to use the tab key. Um, so again, remember that when Jasper is asking us to do something, it's trying to show us uh, the different ways that you can do things. So in this case, it says press tab to move to the next cell. So I'm going to hit the tab key, and you'll see that my insertion point has now jumped over to this next cell. I'm going to type the last name and press tab again. In this third column, and columns go up and down like the columns you would see on a fancy house, I'm gonna type division. I'm gonna hit tab one more time and type local number. You might think of this as the hashtag sign, but it's also a pound sign or the number symbol. So local number, and that was step number seven. For step eight, it wants us to fill in the rest of the cells with the information that's included in the sample here. Now, in order to do that, if you click on that image, it will open it up for you. Now, it can get a little bit tricky to make sure that you can see the cells and you can see the information, but move it around if you need to just by clicking and dragging. Now, it wants to make sure that you are pressing the tab key to move into each additional cell. So I'm going to enter this information. So the first one is Jameson, Topanga. I'm hitting tab after each one. The division is home, tab. The local number is 3301. I'm going to hit tab again. This is going to move me down to the next row. In this one, the first name is Wanda, tab. Amandel, tab. Business, tab. 3302, tab. Then I'm going to do Bingley. Tab Yang, tab Home, tab 3303, tab again, Kalinda, Prasong, tab Life, tab 3304. 
Now, when you're at the very end, so at, at this point, once you've in, entered all that information, you can close out of this image by clicking the X. We don't need that one anymore. We're gonna have our cursor, make sure your cursor is right here at the in the very last cell and hit the tab key again. And what you're gonna notice is that it has created that other, that next row for us. And again, there's different ways, oh, I see a spelling error. There we go. There are different ways that you can add rows and add columns, but in this case, we're just practicing hitting the tab key to add that. In the first blank cell in the new row, we're gonna type hope, press tab, type misaka, press tab, type life, press tab, and type 3308. All right, so pay close attention to the detail and what it wants you to type. And just remember that it's always asking you to type the things that are in bold. That does not necessarily include um, periods or other punctuation. All right, that's it for this one. So I'm gonna click mark as answered and submit.